Hey guys, it's Jack Punkington, and today we are continuing on our journey that I'm slowly moving apparently through the entire S series range of guitars that Gibson made in 2017. This is the Gibson SG Fusion, and this one's been modded a little bit, and I have a lot of things to say about this guitar. First of all, um, it's probably one of the more comfortable guitars I've played. It's relatively lightweight. There's not really much of a neck dive on this, which is weird because like, I think it has a little bit, maybe it's because of the strap I'm using. It has a maple neck, mahogany body. This is stock. The only thing that's been added are these pickup covers and these uh, inlay stickers. Um, these tuners are the worst piece of garbage tuners Gibson's ever used on a guitar, I think. Um, I have all new parts coming for this guitar in the mail, and I want to do a video of its stock. I got inspired by Hunter of, uh, you know, Agafish when he did the Firebird Zero and souped it up like crazy. So, I might not be doing as crazy, but a similar soup up edition kind of thing. But this is its stock. Um, the pickups are very dull, in my opinion. The pickup covers also are not soldered and put on correctly, which means it squeals like crazy out of feedback. So that sucks. And of course, this bridge has been documented so many times and why it sucks. Yes, it's intonatable, so it's a little bit more superior than like the lightning bolt, but it impresses into the finish and it you can't ever get the intonation super right on it. So, but... Besides those, it's not a bad mod platform for the price I paid. I only paid $500 for this plus shipping and tax. So, like, it was the cheapest Gibson at the time, you know. Um, if you really have to have the Gibson headstock on there. I really wanted a white SG. So, and, like, I was looking at some Epiphones and even an LTD. But it just caught my eye and we worked out a good deal. I really liked the M2 I had a long time ago. And the Firebird Zeros I've had have all been modded and they've been actually pretty good. So once I've modded them or have been modded after I received them or before I received them. So getting this and getting all the parts, I still actually have to clean it. Like you can still see the residue from the gig bags all over this thing. But it's actually pretty comfortable. So we're running through the uh, dual caliber here. Also, if it goes out of tune, I can't keep it into it. I've tried. It just...
And that's with the noise get on. Next. because of all the work it's going to need. But I'm excited to show you it when it's done. Anyway, guys, Jack Punkington signing up. Peace, everyone.